You know, I get to the point where I don't ask questions anymore, or I just play the game. <laughs> yeah, we've got a Streedale, a Narari here, <laughs> on sale, and it's on one wheel. That should be worth some extra cash, I think. Yeah, welcome back, folks. This is Plumpy Simulator 2. Yeah, yeah, we've um, gotten crazy here with some of the uh, selling. <laughs> As you can see, we're up to $5 million up there. I will show you with the main menu. That is not an illusion. That is not a Photoshop job or anything like that. We actually have $5 million. How did we do it? Whoa, out of the way. Well, the one thing we did, we are over here at the airstrip and we are crazy with cars again. That's right. Another thing, you'll notice I have a box of tube men. And I paid about $25,000 for them. Hey, <laughs> you know how much I get for those? Yeah. I get. $165,000. Booyah! Alright, so here we go. Scooby. We have Phantom Shaggy. He took off a little while ago. I don't know why he's standing over there, but... Hey, let's kind of see what's changed in the uh, station. You know, I'll tell you, not much, but there is some, uh, some other developments here. Mm -hmm. So we have a couple new employees. And if I can find them... Uh, that is John. We met him. He's our security guard. How you doing, John? Oh, how you doing? Good. Yeah. Uh, we have another cleaner. Uh, along with Madeline, Stildalyn, and Dadalyn. We now have... Who, me? Yes. Uh, we have someone else here. Who is it? Uh, of course we have Blingus, Dingus, Pingus, and Dave. Blingus, I think his name was. Of course we have Max. Daisy 2. Maisie. Roxanne 2, there's a daisy around here somewhere. The, they're back and forth stocking everything. The one thing I will notice, uh, and we'll go on with that in a minute. I, they are stocking everything now. They're doing great. Look at this. Everything. All the coolers stocked. And if you remember the past few episodes, I had problems with the coolers never being stocked. I can't come in here and stock anything. They, they have it covered so well. The other thing I noticed? They are stocking the vending machines. Yeah. I mean, beer and a vending machine. <laughs> That's great. Uh, yeah, they're stocking them now. I love it. They're actually doing their jobs. The devs must have fixed something. All right, everything. All decked out. you got to love this. I did not do those. The basketball farm is growing. Okay, so who's the other employee? Um, <laughs> it's one of our pumpers. He's taking care of the, uh, the uh, electric stuff. That's actually Alex backwards. Zila. <laughs> I know. He is crazy. And one other employee. Uh, if I can find the other security guard. Where's he at? We have two security guards. That's John. How you doing, John? Where is he with the security guard? Uh, I paid him. He better be here. Mm. Yes, there's another security guard. I know there is. How about uh, you take this car off my hands? For 31? Okay, we can have it. Okay, there's another security guard. Uh, I will introduce you to him once I find him. Of course, that's Ted, one of our farmers. There's Bill, Bill and Ted, and there's Reaper. Okay, mm, okay so we'll go over here and I'll show you the other employee. Oh, here he is, security guard. Arnie, how you doing, Arnie? I'll be back. Okay, you will. Yeah, this is our receptionist for the hotel. His name is MK. What's great about this? This hotel will now earn us money without me having to come over here and place people when they show up. And know, that guy's resting. Uh, at least he has his eyes... Well, no, he doesn't. His eyes are open. Hey, that's weird. So we have one person in this entire hotel. That uh, seems like a waste of money, but uh, anyway. Yeah, so uh, the signs are still blank. They look like they're, you know, some defunct, run-down place in the middle of the desert that you know, hasn't been open in 20 years, but uh, I'll, I'll take it. Whatever. It's making me money. Look at the economy. Day 101. Hotel. Find it here. Hotel in blue. That's fuel. That's wash. That's electric. Hotel. Yeah, eight hundred dollars last day. So I'll take it. That's money. You know, it's just flowing in. That's why I hired the extra employees because I figured, you know, why not? But these cars being here has caused a little bit of a problem, as you can tell. <laughs> trying to sell them off, trying to get them out of here. So, uh, you know, normally I have a goal for the day. My overall goal is to get $10 million. But we're only at five. It's going to take a while to get there. But we're going to do it. Uh, I need to deck out this parking lot, this airstrip, a little bit more. 
stand. We have a lot there, but uh, I really like to double the size of this. Oh, one thing I did find. I thought this was interesting. All this time I've been driving on the road when I get the cars. I thought uh, offline, I was like, there's got to be a quicker way to get here, right? Oh, yeah, there is. I had no idea that the, um, <laughs> the dealership's right here. <laughs> I thought it's worth that. Yeah, just go right over the hill. <laughs> Crazy veto. Yeah. But, you know, I'm actually waiting another update. Now, we just had a major update. So I don't anticipate another one within the next month or so. And this place is looking nuts. And, uh, you know, I know you're saying, Vito, you did that to yourself. Of course I did, but the devs allowed me to do it. Yeah, see? I, I can't even get in here now. There's so many cars. I have to go to the back door. <laughs> oh, what's happening here? Uh, do we have a fire? Do I need to call the fire department? Wait, there is no fire department. Yeah, but if you look here, they're, they're coming out of the roof. Right there. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that is amazing. Yeah, you're gonna keep that up. There's probably about a million dollars worth of cars just in there. So I buy those things full price. So, okay, buy a couple more down here. I'm gonna go sell them. Hello, dude. Uh, 34 for that? Surely you just. That's right, I'll take it. 27. Sucker. Uh, 85, 19. Yeah, you'll take 55, 55. You will take 55, 55. You will take 55, 50, 55, 56. Nope. See ya. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be back to take out of your hands for 55, 55. Trust me. You are a sucker, sir. Let's get these cars down there, get some of my money back. <laughs> Kids, don't don't drive when you're overly tired. My character hasn't slept in a month. Alright, let's bring this over here. Right between the two men. Yep. Yeah, let's see, it's this one I believe. No, it's the other one. Yes. Alright, let's go get the other ones. Take a bus, tired of walking. And folks, if you haven't checked out the other content on the channel, we got some good stuff. Okay, how how, how did it, how did this happen? How did they get on sale over here? There's supposed to be like a radius uh, around the gas station where you can't put them on sale. Okay, let's try. Is it gonna let me put this one for sale? No, see it doesn't let me. Okay, so before I was so rudely interrupted, I don't know why that was working that way. Some weird mechanics go on in this game when you do stupid things like Vito does. Okay, uh, what do we have running out here? Oh, that's our security guard, Arnie. Yeah, some weird mechanics go on there. But anyway, yeah, what I was saying is I hope you're checking out the other content on the channel. We got some new titles out there. Uh, America Truck Simulator seems to do well. Um, Tavern Manager Simulator, it's a really fun game. In the medieval times, Vito is a bartender. At a medieval or World of Warcraft style tavern. I love it. Right at my alley, as always. We also have Escape the Backrooms. If you haven't seen that yet. Me and Kellen at the moment. And I believe Ben is going to join in the Ashen Zoo. Yeah. Check those out. I'd really appreciate it if you would. You know, typical veto fun. That's what I'll say. And on that same note, yeah. If you're feeling generous, if you're feeling ready... Give me a thumbs up, give me a sub. I would appreciate it. Subs up over 100. Woohoo! Get a lot of views on the uh, on the individual videos. I know, like I said, big guys like, eh, whatever, Vito. You're getting less than 1,000, 5,000, 10,000 views. You are a sucker. You are a nobody. Yeah, maybe. But I'm having fun. That's all that counts. Uh, I think we have some new uh, vehicle models in the game. Because I don't recall this being one. Right, sort of like a cross between uh, an avalanche and some kind of. Uh, oh wait, a plate says Bolivia. Okay, so this is new. I believe I saw a Kia in here too the other day. Mm -hmm. 
Got some serious suspension on that uh, PGR. <laughs> yes. Yeah, there was a. Uh, I think that's no, that's not a new one. Yeah, there was a. Um, Look like at Kia Sorento or something was in here. I just happened to notice when I was when I was walking by. Oh yeah, we have another employee. Uh, his name is Dryer. And you know what he does? That's right. He's a washer. <laughs> And he works right along with Oscar, so they can double-team cars. You're saying, Vito, why do you need that many employees? I really don't, but I have so much money, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm just going to, uh, whatever employees they allow me to have, I'm going to do just because uh, I can. I want to send any employees that you get. <laughs> the moon is full. Oh! Okay, so let's go and figure out what cars we have left out there to buy. we got a bunch of the dealership. I'll go grab those in a little bit. Ooh, we got somebody with a BMW. Got a couple of socks down there. I know where that's at. I believe that's down up the hill here. And the me. Hey, Vito, are you still having problems locking up the game? Oh, yeah. It crashes like every five minutes. That's why you see me every once in a while I'll save. I'm not crazy. I have to do that. Otherwise, it crashes. I wish I could show you where this line of people comes from. You notice there's no buyers out there right now. If I go up towards my house, they're walking through the woods. It's really spooky. Let's see if I can find them. I mean, it's dark right now. It's going to be hard to find them without getting lost. Uh, I think the house is up that way. So they're probably making a trail down from my house. It's really crazy, folks. You have to, you have, to have to see it to believe it. And one of these cars I already own. I believe it's this one. <laughs> ah, yes. yeah, okay, so I have no idea which one it is. When you reset the game, unfortunately, your pictures go away, so you really can't tell what is what. So I just have to keep going until I can find the one. I did find a way to do this, though, to actually help myself figure out what's what. And that is, when I buy the car, it shows up at the top. Go ahead and put a price on it. Even though it won't go on sale, uh, it'll keep that price, right? So then I can tell exactly where my car is. You know? Yeah, see, I found it. Because I had the price on it already. And then from buyers over here, let's get rid of these cars. I'm just... 322, what do you want? 3208? Okay, you can have it. Anybody else? Hey, Sonic, how you doing? You know, if people stop parking their cars like that, this wouldn't happen. <laughs> so what's next on Public Simulator 2? I don't know. I've, I've been in this situation several times now over the past couple of months. I feel like I've maxed out the content again. And so we have two planes coming in. That's another $300,000. I feel like I've maxed out the content. I really have. You know, they gave me the hotel. That saved me. They gave us the hotel. No, it's wrong. They gave me the hotel. And I've maxed it out. I've done everything I can with it right now. So I'm standing in my engine. So, what else to do? That's why I'm doing stupid things like this on the side. Selling cars, trying to make $10 million. There's really nothing left to do in this game. Uh, and I feel bad because... Uh, I feel bad because the devs are doing a great job, and they're, they're offering everything they can. Vito just happens to... Uh, that car is too loud. Can you please? Thank you. Uh, so, what is this? This is a PTR, right? Yeah, okay. So, let's... Uh, not that one. TGR, sorry. I'll find it. Eventually, I will find it. I believe those are all the ones at the uh, car dealership. Yeah, I, I feel bad because, like I said, they are working hard to, do, to give us content, and when you do YouTube stuff like this, you tend to run through content really quickly, and that's exactly what I did. They, I mean, the hotel was out fully for probably like two or three days, and I went ahead and, and I ran through it. And it also helped that I had $5 million, right? I wasn't having to do the casual thing uh, where I had to take, you know, several episodes worth of grinding to, to get that way. Uh, I was already a spot where I had enough money to do whatever I needed to do. Okay, 
Yes, we've <laughs> made kind of a mess here. Uh, why have the car stock coming up the hill? Okay, there we go. I thought I broke something again. Oh, man. 366. That's what I want. 30,208. Okay, you can have it. Just because I want the money. 12-2. What are you going to give me? 13. <laughs> sure. <laughs> 33. Bring me the deal. Uh, that is not a deal. Get out of here. 33. 28. Get out. Now, I probably should let them have it because... Uh, I probably bought that car for cheaper than what I said. 22, 13. Yeah, whatever. 22, 13, get out. Uh, maybe I'm charging too much for that? I don't know. I might be. So one thing I sort of wish would come back is my girlfriend and my mom. Yeah, they both left me. Ironic. You know, the mom wanted me to go out and make a living and earn money with this gas station. And here I have five million dollars. And she she skipped out, you know. Ignore her for a day or two and you know, uh, I'm grateful. We do have a car for sale down here, so something weird going on with the mechanics. We got nobody out here to try to buy it though. So this probably isn't the best place for it. So let's go ahead and um Oh boy, figure out which one this is, you know? Is it this one? No. Oh boy. Set back on sale. Eh. Nope. Uh, I need to be where I can see the for sale sign just here. Yeah, there we go. Eh. No. Eh. No. I'll find it, folks. I will find it. It's gonna be the last one I check. You realize that, right? Hmm. Or maybe it's none of them. You saw me check all of them, right? <laughs> I checked every car. Which one is it? Is it a BMW? Okay. The game's punking me now. Okay, I went through every single car. This is obviously a bugged out thing, so let's talk to him and buy my car I already own. Ugh. Okay, I own it now. Now, one of the side effects of what I just did, where I was going through the tablet and pulling cars off sale and putting them back on sale, is a lot of these were cars out here. So as soon as they went off sale, the buyers left. And now they're just all sort of trickling back in now, you can tell. This place was crowded before. So, yeah, what's my goal over the next coming, uh, over the coming episodes? Well, I'm going to keep uh, trying to fill this lot up, right? I want this lot completely filled up. I mean, like, completely. I want it decked out. I have stopped doing the custom cars for now because I think it's just a waste of money. I haven't really put it down on paper or, you know, put it in a spreadsheet or anything to try to figure out exactly how much money I make from one of these things when I customize it. I like the look of them, especially when I slam the vans, the back ends. Uh, I might do a couple of them just to see what kind of uh, profit I make out of them, right? So is it worth it? I don't know. So I know these are probably, ooh, I think I pay around $5,000 for them and I can get rid of them if you'll see right here. All right, I'm asking for seven. They're gonna try to give me, yeah, seven. So that's probably like the best that I can do. So what I need to find out though, is if I put $5,000 into this van, right? Slamming it and putting nitrous on it and stuff like that. Uh, do I get those that extra 5,000? Do I get anything? If I get a little bit, it might be worth it. I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna have to, like I said, spreadsheetize it and figure out uh, what kind of money I'm making here. In the meantime, I'm gonna keep buying cars. Now, I need to clean out the dealership sooner or later. There's, you know, probably mm, 35, 40 cars over there. If you'd average 20 grand, like I said, there's probably close to a million dollars in inventory over there. So I definitely need to do something with that. Uh, everything else is running in an automated fashion. 
right by. Don't be like Max. As a matter of fact, I can I can hire a second manager. Didn't do that. If you notice here, all these workers, let's browse some more workers. They're giving me the option to just hire tons and tons of people. All right, so uh, we've got a second receptionist we can hire. We've got another mechanic. Another uh, couple, uh, another security guard. I mean, this is crazy. Uh, more farmers. Do we need more farmers? I don't know. I, I don't know why I would ever hire more pilots. You can only have two planes. So, yeah. Mm, second manager. Man, he makes a lot of money. $750 a day. I don't think so. Mm, I don't want the cheap ones. Mm, pumpers. This is actually a smart thing. I have six pumpers right now. I think it's smart to have as many pumpers as I can get because that's where the money comes in. Right? So, uh, I'm going to hire a cashier and a pumper. I have maximum employees. Okay, so can I upgrade anything else? Mm, station upgrades. I think I'm maxed on everything. Fuel tank capacity. <laughs> 20. Um, I think that's everything, right? Prices, we're doing okay. I'm trying not to make people complain too much. Uh, the hotel, we need to be a premium hotel. That little shack over there, the flop house. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I've maxed out folks. I don't know what to do. I I've maxed out. Alright, well, uh, you know, so I'm going to keep going here. This was just sort of like a State of the Union thing for Pumping Simulator 2 at Vito's channel. I hope you tuned in. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Next time out, you're going to see twice as many cars, hopefully a lot more money. Uh, offline, I'm hoping to get up to $6 million at least by doing small sales here, getting rid of these extra set of cars here so that I can uh, buy more inventory. And then finally, we'll do one episode where we just have an entire airfield full of cars and we'll get to $10 million. I promise it's going to happen. That might be going to get out, dude. Yeah. All right, folks. Not you, though. Come back. As always, folks, you stay safe. 11th one, no way. You know it. You people are pathetic.